Finally, the mother is wearing some sunglasses, and you can see the reflection of the fire from the torch. The sunglasses with fire should help you remember that congenital CMV may cause chorioretinitis. Alright, if we zoom back out, you can see that we've added a broken spotlight on the rooftop. This was probably destroyed by Megatronics in his fight with Optimum Prime. In any case, the spotlight is our symbol for the monospot test. So the fact that it's broken should help you remember that the monospot test is negative in patients with CMV. This is important because patients with CMV may present similarly to a patient with an Epstein-Barr virus infection, and a monospot test can help in making an accurate diagnosis. So both groups of people may present with pharyngitis and cervical lymphadenopathy, but the monospot test will be negative in those with CMV, and it will be positive in those with EBV. We talked more about the specifics of the monospot test in the last video, so I'm not going to cover it again. All right, now notice that we've shown two halos around Optimum Prime's laser beams. These halos are here to help you remember that infected cells may show intranuclear and intracytoplasmic inclusions with a surrounding halo, which is sometimes referred to as an owl's eye. This is a biopsy of a lung from a patient with a CMV infection. You can see the characteristic owl's eye right here. Notice that there is a large intranuclear inclusion along with a surrounding white halo. All right, let's move on to discuss treatment. First, notice that we've added a fast sports car to the image. The car is blatantly ignoring the 50 mile per hour sign and racing away quickly in an attempt to escape the chaos. You can see that it's pilling out and going very fast based on the skid marks right behind the car. In any case, fast car sounds like Foscarnet, which should help you remember that CMV can be treated with Foscarnet. Now you can see that we've added a garbage can on the sidewalk nearby. The fast car better watch out for it as it speeds away or it might get in a crash. Anyway, garbage can sounds like gancyclovir, which should help you remember that this drug can also be used to treat CMV. Looks like the fast car did get in a crash after all, but it's with a violet garbage can, not the garbage can we just showed. Violet garbage can sounds like valgancyclovir, which can also be used to treat CMV. 